Hi everybody, my name is Eugene O'Loughlin from the School of Informatics at the National College of Ireland and I'm going to talk to you today about how to convert a PowerPoint presentation into an iPod movie in simple steps. PowerPoint, as you know, is a popular and simple tool used to create things like lecture notes. And In this video, I'm going to create a PowerPoint presentation, use Windows Movie Maker to record the audio, use a Jodix iPod video converter, which is free, and finally import the video into iTunes. So first of all, create a, a new PowerPoint presentation, or you can use an existing one as normal. And for the purposes of this exercise, I have created a simple a sample lecture with just five slides in it. When you're happy that your presentation is complete, you need to save it as a JPEG file interchange format pointed out here under the, under the uh, file save as type option when you go to save your file. Once you do this, two dialog boxes will pop up and in the first one you need to click the every slide button so that each um, slide in the presentation is separ it will be separate and in the following dialog button just simply click OK. You will now have a new set of files, so if you open up Windows Explorer, you will see in the folder created by um, PowerPoint a slide represented by each um, image that you see here, all JPEG files. So that's it with PowerPoint. The next thing to do now is move over to Windows Movie Maker. So launch Windows Movie Maker and you will get a workspace uh, similar to the one um, that you see here. So the first thing to do here is you want to import all the images that you've just saved in PowerPoint. So select the file import option and you will see a window like you see here and uh, choose select all the files and click on the import button. Windows Movie Maker will then add uh, a new collection and uh, you can see all the slides of my presentation here in the center and it will give you a small preview window over on the right hand side um, that you can work with. Now I've changed from the thumbnails view to the details view here and selected all the five slides in my presentation and just simply dragged and dropped them from the collections window down onto the um, storyboard timeline that you see at the bottom pointed out here by the red arrow. And once you've got them in then you can see them added to the storyline here. You can click on the uh, microphone button um, and click on the start narration button in order to begin the narration. Once you've narrated the content, in my case here, I've narrated content for just five slides, uh, you will be prompted to select your new Windows Media file, uh, which is a, a WMA format that you see here. So click on the Save button. Um, this, you know, you're now in a Save Movie Wizard, and you want to save your uh, new movie to your computer, so select the My Computer option. Interestingly, you can save to the web, direct to the likes of YouTube by selecting the web option here. So next, um, your save movie file, give it a name and option number one, and uh, I'm going to save mine to the default location of uh, my, my videos folder, and then click next to move on to the next stage. In the save movie wizard, I've got some movie settings here. Um, you can make different selections about what type of quality it is that you want to choose. So choose that which you see uh, fit for your own purposes and click the next button. Now Windows Movie Maker uh, goes through the process of saving your movie file. So in my case here, the uh, presentation and the narration is quite small, so it's only going to take 20 seconds or so to save. You can then play the um, new Windows Movie file uh, in Windows Media Player. Um, it's a WMF file, so it'll play as normal in a Windows Media Player, like what you see here. Unfortunately, a WMV file uh, just won't work on an iPod and you need to convert it to an MP4 file. So if you go to jodix.com, they have a free iPod video converter uh, which you can download and install and I have this is the first screen you see here. So the first thing you need to do is um, add your WMV file created in Windows Movie Maker into the iPod converter. So browse uh, when you select the file to convert, so browse that uh, and click on the open button. You're next presented with two windows, two settings windows. So on the left hand side here, it's just a simple um, summary of what you have done so far. So click next. And over on the right hand side, you can vary the quality uh, and click next as you see fit. 
Once this is done, you can add a name and some tags in the left-hand settings window here. And when you click OK, uh, you are brought back to the um, iPod converter main screen that you see on the right-hand side here. Then you click the Convert button and uh, the iPod converter will convert and give you a preview as it converts, as you see in the left-hand side here. You can pause it at any time and continue. And you will also get a message at the end, just click Yes on that. You now have a, a new uh, file called an MP4 file with the same file name as your as your M WMV file created earlier. I've pointed it out with the red arrow here. If you double click on this, QuickTime will play this file in a little small window that you see on the right. Alternatively, if you want to get this onto your iPod, you can uh, import the new uh, MP4 file uh, directly into your movie section in your iTunes. In iTunes, uh, once your movie is imported, you can click on it to play the movie and it pops up in a small window that you see here. Uh, once you've done this and you're happy that your movie is, is uh, what you had set out to do, simply sync your new library with your iPod. when you. So finally, a step-by-step -step procedure. Number one, create and open a PowerPoint presentation as normal. When you're saving your PowerPoint presentation, save it as a JPEG or .jpg format and then use Windows Movie Maker and import these files into uh, Windows Movie Maker so that you can record an narration in step four and save your new file as a Windows Media file as a WMV format. You need to convert this to MP4, uh, so the IPix Jodic Video Converter will do this. Then simply it's a matter of adding your new movie to your iTunes library and syncing with your iPod. Thank you for your attention.